All right, welcome back for another edition of Run for Covers. This is the video series that I do where I choose a theme, basically, a variant cover run, whether it be a, an incentive cover run, just a theme month selection of books where basically a publisher decided to do a singular theme running throughout a number of books. That's kind of what I've been focusing on with this series. And I, I don't know, they've done so many over the last you know decade or so that there's so many good books to go and look for. So I thought this was a worthwhile uh, investment of time to go back and look at some of these ones that you know many people might have forgotten about. So. Kind of a little uh, side addition to my Forgotten Friday series of uh, videos, but I do this one on Mondays, and it's just going to be, like I said, a little uh, dive into a particular cover run, just to kind of go over, see where things are, check out where prices are at, what are people asking for, and what are things selling for. Hopefully you enjoy that, as well as all the other stuff here on the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think. Please like, subscribe, hit the alert button so you don't miss anything. Keep telling friends we can keep growing the channel, and if you're interested in any merch, we've got plenty of stuff around from shirts to uh, glasses to whatever you have, you know, magnets and pins and all kinds of fun stuff. But promotional stuff aside, let's have some fun and go into some more books. So just hang on for a few seconds after the intro, and I'll be right back with this week's selection of books. All right, so this week's selection is a little bit weird in that they are not all incentives. Part of the runner incentives and the other part, I think, are uh, maybe qualifying variants. I think they're just, uh, you know, B variants or other variants that shops could order, most likely qualifying, but I don't know for certain how shops would have gotten them, but they are not incentives in parts. And we're going back all the way to 2010 to go looking at the uh, Women of Marvel series of covers, which... Uh, are really cool. Uh, if you find these in a box, they kind of jump out at you so you know what you're looking at. And uh, like I said, they're pretty cool. And these kind of lead into this two-issue miniseries, Women of Marvel, in 2010. So that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's just dive right into it with our first book, which is one of the incentives that came about a little bit later uh, in the run or the year, I guess, for 2010. This Avengers Academy number three. Pretty cool Tiger cover, right? Amanda Connor, who uh, did the art on this one. Now, I'm not giving you print runs on these because of some of them are incentives, some of them aren't. So we're just going to enjoy and just look at them, enjoy the covers, and, uh, you know, like I said, check in a little bit of the pricing. The incentives are only 1 in 15, so they're not very high incentive. Uh, they didn't have to order a lot to get these. So there's going to be plenty of copies of these around. There's probably going to be a couple thousand of most of these books, uh, apart from maybe the very tougher to find lower printed ones. But most of these are bigger titles, so there's going to be plenty of these out there to be found. Uh, that all being said, this is a pretty cool Amanda Connor cover. Uh, you don't see Tigra a lot, uh, at least anymore. I don't know where uh, she's been in the uh, Marvel Universe, but yeah, there she is back in 2010. And if we want to see what this book actually sells for, well, there's none out there. So if you want to check for uh, what's asking, there's none uh, on the market when I did my uh, quick little peek the other day. And if we want to check what actually sold on this one, well, a couple of copies did sell over the last couple of months. One in October for 15 bucks, and then one in September that was a best offer on $75, where they actually accepted 40 So you can see this book could sell for as little as 15 or as high as 40 bucks. I mean, uh, again, it's a 1 in 15 incentive variant, so uh, keep that in mind when you're out there shopping and pricing that it is not just a b cover that it is an incentive so uh, one in 15 is the ratio for you to make your determination if you're interested in this book uh this could be a little bit of a tough run to collect because as i said there's a uh, some incentives and then others are not and some of these are a little bit pricey while others are actually pretty cheap uh, all in all i think this whole set is about 21 books so Let's not uh, linger on too uh, too long on any one, and let's move on to the next one, which is Amazing Spider-Man. Now, this is the first uh, Amazing Spider-Man book, which actually has two issues in uh, over this 2010 year where they cover the, the women of Marvel. This is issue 640, so you get a twofer, you get Mary Jane, and you get Black Cat. And this is one of the ones that is not an incentive. This was, I don't know if it's, again, qualifying or what shops had to do to be able to order these, but these ones are the stark white covers that uh, have the character names down at the bottom, whereas you could have seen the 70th anniversary, I think it's 70th anniversary uh, border of characters. Those were the one in 25s, but were also the women of Marvel incentives. Uh, we'll get back to that on one of the next ones so I can highlight those little aspects of the incentives, but we're going to see a couple of these uh, that are just the, I don't know, B, the, whatever the variants are for women of Marvel. Now, this particular cover here is 
Marco Jurdovic, the Jurdovic. I don't know if I'm saying his name properly, but this I think is his only title uh, that he did a cover on in this run. You're going to see the Jurdovic name a lot because a lot of covers were actually done by his wife, but we'll get more into those a little bit later. But this one, like I said, pretty cool. The I Heart Spider Man t shirt's a nice little touch. And, you know, Black Hat MJ, it, it was a fun little, uh, yeah, a little nod to a couple of Peter's loves. Uh, but this one, we want to see what's out there on the market. If you're curious, well, 17 bucks to about 30 bucks. So even though this is not an incentive book, uh, this still, you know, could command a few bucks like it were an incentive. Because, you know, like I said, these aren't always the easiest to find. I still don't know what shops had to do to get them. And finding them in good shape, considering that stark white cover, could be a tough ask as well. And if we want to see what this actually sells for, one did sell for about 20 bucks just a couple of days ago, November 14th. So well, last week thereabouts, uh, 20 bucks, one bid at auction. So who knows if this was not an auction was a best offer, would somebody have paid more? But that's what, what you do when you run these uh, auctions for these like lesser looked for, little less aware books. You may not get a lot of traffic on them because not a lot of people are searching for this particular book, to my knowledge, at this moment. So just keep that in mind. Again, if you're out there, you want to have one you want to sell, maybe don't do auction on some of these harder to find lesser known or lesser aware books. You really only want to auction the hot books because then you're going to have people, you know, chomping at the bit to get at your book. But some of these, you got to find that special buyer who's actually looking for this or somebody who just stumbles across it. They they may end be in to buy it, but they may not be into it for a long fight and wait. Like, well, I'm not going to go into a auction battle for like a week trying to get this book. So I'll, I'll catch the next one. Now, that all being said, for ASM 640, this was that uh, quote unquote, I'll just say, B cover or whatever we want to call it. I don't think it was even B because there was even other variants for this, but this is the non-incentive version. But Amazing also had another issue, which again, we're going to go back to those incentives. This is for the next issue, issue 641, where you can see the border around there. This is the 70th anniversary border, but then you can see down below in the center, it's still part of the Women of Marvel kind of run of covers, and it's still spotlighting you know, one of the Women of Marvel characters. This is going to be a little bit different. There's a couple of times that Marvel did these uh, women of uh, cover runs. Uh, about five years later, 2015, Marvel did a women of Marvel run, but it was basically the artists were, you know, the women who uh, did all the covers. And we can cover that in another time. So for this one, 641, pretty cool. John Tyler Christopher cover, actually. You, like you wouldn't really have picked this one out as being his, but it is. You can even see right by her foot, there's the JTC little signature. But John Tyler Christopher did this uh, incentive, this one of 15 for 641. And as I said, one of 15 variant for these. Not going to give you the print run because uh, just don't think it's really that necessary. Plenty to be at, plenty out there. And uh, if you want to see what this is pricing at, well, this one is a little bit pricier. It's like 60 bucks. I mean, 58, 65 are uh, a couple of options that are out there right now. And uh, when you want to see what it sells for, well, it's a little bit less than those asks. We got a best offer on 25 bucks on November 16th and then uh, an auction, 10 bids up to 35 bucks on November 12th. And that best offer actually accepted 20 bucks. Uh, on it. So, yeah, 20 to $35 is the actual sale amount for these books, which isn't too bad either. And as I said, we do have plenty of covers, so we're going to move this on a little quicker as we move on to our next one, which goes back to one of those stark white covers. This is for Black Widow, number one. So you can see down below, Natasha Romanoff, you even have the established date, 1964, uh, which I think is also a nice little touch. Pretty cool. And as I mentioned, this is another Jurdovic cover, but not Marco. This is instead Jelena Kevick Jurdovic, who is his wife. And uh, you can see their styles are very, very similar. And uh, she is quite talented as well, though I don't believe she does a lot of comic book uh, work any longer. I think this was like the, I don't want to say pinnacle, but this was like a main focus of when she did the, this run of covers. And I think she does a lot of other art, art styles and maybe a bit of fashion type stuff. But these are pretty cool covers. So definitely keep an eye out for them if you're out there searching. And if you're out there searching right now, well, this particular Black Widow book, yeah, can go anywhere from 25 bucks as an ask up to $70. So could get a little pricey. Again, this is not an incentive. This is just a, a variant cover, uh, if you will. Again, probably qualifying. Don't know what the qualifiers were. If you want to see what this sells for, well, there's an auction. Ended one bid, 12-12. $12.12. It was from the UK, too, so uh, that's why the uh, amount is going to be a little odd because of currency conversion. And you can also see it does have a healthy uh, $35 shipping charge uh, from the UK. So you could see that one as being much more than that $12.12 uh, 
actual sale price. But then if you look at the other one, also in October, $3.96 again at auction, one bid. I'm telling you, yeah, these books aren't, people aren't looking for them right now. Don't sell them at auction if you have them. But that $3.96 is actually from Canada, which also has an $18 shipping charge. So it is still a bit cost, you know, costlier than it appears. Like it looks like it's four bucks, but realistically that's 22 bucks and uh, closer to 50 actual out of pocket for those buyers. So I'm sure uh, you, know, you want to factor that in as well when you're uh, kind of pricing it in your head. And uh, sticking with Natasha, we're going to move on to the next book, which is not a Black Widow book, but it's Captain America, where she's featured on the cover. And this is Captain America number 609, going back to one of those incentive border variants. And this is a uh, Mike Perkins cover. And again, another one in 15. As I mentioned, all these uh, 70, the, these border covers are uh, one in 15 variants. And again, you can see the women of Marvel. Pretty cool. You got all these other women characters all featured around as that border. Uh, on these, which actually is pretty cool. So I may have been confused when I said the 70th anniversary. I think this is just for the uh, women of Marvel border because uh, all these characters are women in the MCU. Well, I shouldn't say MCU, the Marvel universe, not cinematic universe per se. But this cat book, what's this actually on the market for? If you want to go shopping for one right now, 20 bucks to about 40 bucks. Not awful considering it's a one in 15, but again, these aren't bargains yet. These, these aren't bargain books. And if you want to see what this actually sells for, well, keep an eye out, I guess, for those auctions, maybe. But this is still selling for uh, 11 bucks to 20 bucks on Buy It Now. So still pretty close to that ratio, uh, even without the uh, cheap auction ends that we've had on some of the other books that we've passed by. But not too bad for this one. Uh, the next one's an interesting little combo of character and title in that this is Doom War number one, and it's got a pretty cool storm. And again, you see, established 1975. So it's like the character's first appearance is kind of noted there uh, down below with their little uh, spotlight feature. Again, pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is, again, uh, a Jelena cover. So keep an eye out for these while you're out there uh, hunting and digging. And uh, this is pretty cool. I, I still kind of like the, you know, the Storm Mohawk. It's not a look I'd like all the time, but it is kind of fun when you do get the Storm Mohawk look every once in a while. And uh, what's available on this thing? You want to go shopping for this one. This is, again, 20 to 40 bucks. Again, not an incentive on this. This is one of the regulars. But still, 20 to $40 are the asking prices for this one. And uh, if you want to see what actually sold, well, prices for the sales are a little bit less. And uh, there's a buy it now for about 11 bucks on October 28th. And then on November 1st, there's a best offer on about 19 bucks where they accepted 15 So 10 to 15 bucks is uh, what this is actually picking up uh, through actual completed sales. Which is going to take us to our next book, uh, the Savage She Hulk's Fall of the Hulks. Uh, this is that uh, three issue mini uh, series. I think uh, Can J. Scott Campbell did a connecting cover set on the B covers, maybe, and then there's a regular cover as well on this run. But in addition, there was also this Women of Marvel one for uh, Savage She Hulk, established 2008 here uh, by this. Again, another uh, Jelena cover. So you can see she did a number of these, uh, the white background covers. Uh, as part of this run. And uh, this one, if you want to go look at what's out there, 25 bucks or 10 bucks. So 10 to 25 bucks. Not terrible, but again, not an incentive. This is just uh, a variant. If you want to see what's actually sold, well, one at auction sold for 14 bucks. So the starting bid price of $14 is what this ended at on October 2nd. So again, not a lot of action on, the, on many of these. Just that one really had a, a number of bids. Uh, so just keep that in mind. These Women of Marvel books may not be at the top of everybody's shopping list right now from 2010. Moving on to the next one, Hawkeye and, Mocking Hawkeye and Mockingbird, number one. So you get that Mockingbird cover. Pretty cool. You get the established 1971 down below. below. Again, another Jelena Kevick Dejurvic cover. Pretty cool. And if you want to see what's out there on this one, well, 15 to $70 on this. So this one could get a little bit pricier on some of the asks. Uh, could be one of the lower printed because Hawkeye and Mockingbird wasn't, I think, the hugest title in the world. So could be a little tougher than some of the others. And if you want to see what the actual sale prices are, however, still best offer with free shipping, except on 15 bucks. And the uh, amount that was accepted was $15, which I found confusing, but that's what it said. So somebody offered the asking price or they just didn't have it you know, funneled through correctly. But still, 15 bucks thereabouts is what we could say this one actually sold for. Oh. Uh, semi-recently. This was what, October 27th. So just a few weeks ago. 
taking us to our next book. We're, uh, I think we're getting close to halfway through our run of books here. So uh, thanks for sticking with me and uh, checking out these covers. I'm having fun going through these. Hopefully you're enjoying this as well. But our next book, as we see Rescue featured here on the cover, uh, Pepper Potts in the Invincible Iron Man number 29, another variant. So this is uh, Salvador La, La Roca, La Roca, if I'm saying it right. Another 1 in 15 incentive variant on this one. Pretty cool. We want to see what's out there. 15 to $27. So you can see it's a... Uh, Pretty standardized, I guess you want to say. A lot of these are in that 20, 15 to $20 range. And then some of the more uh, sought after, I guess, characters could get a higher bump in some of the asking prices. But if we want to see what actually sold, again, we're still, right, like I said, right in that range. 20 bucks. Buy it now. October 1st. So th that's what we're talking about here. For at least the incentives. Well, actually, the other ones as well. Uh, these all seem pretty, uh, pretty well in line with the pricing. And taking our story next one, another... Uh, Pretty cool cover, Ms. Marvel here on uh, New Avengers number three. So this is a Joe Quinones uh, cover, another one in 15 incentive variant. Pretty cool. What's out there on this one? 750 to 20 bucks. This was a pretty uh, popular title uh, back in, in this time frame. Uh, ben is running the uh, multiple uh, Avengers titles. So this would have had a heftier print run. So even with that one in 15 incentive, there's going to be plenty of copies of this one probably floating around out there, which is why you can see one for 750 and uh, even 20 bucks isn't that bad when you consider it's a one in 15. And if you want to see what actually sold on this, well, one sold for 20 bucks, which is kind of surprising, especially from the UK with another $20 in shipping. But uh, yeah, so there you go. There's the actual sale price. So you want to compare it to the asking prices. You make a determination if you're, you're in on getting this one. Which is going to take us to our next book, which is one I've actually picked up semi-recently. And I think I featured it in my, uh, my cheap pickups there. But this Secret Avengers number four, uh, this is a pretty cool cover. I like this Valkyrie cover, actually. This uh, Chris Pachalo, Pachalo cover again i'm uh, doing my best name pronunciation but i don't know the actual pronunciation of the last name but you know who it is gen x artist extraordinaire from back in the 90s uh this is again a one in 15 so you can see it's an incentive cover you got the border helps you pick out the incentives from the non-incentive ones in this women of marvel run from 2010 but pretty cool cover nonetheless i like it and uh, if you want to see what this one is asking for out there on the market it's anywhere from fifteen dollars to ninety dollars so as i said uh, prices could get pretty wide there could be a wide range in some of these asks based on uh, some of these books and i think a lot of it has to do with the character as well as the the artist uh, as some being more in demand than others uh what's actually sold though on this book so this way you can kind of price out that market so regardless of what people are asking for what is this selling for well look at that one sold at auction four bids for two dollars and fourteen cents Telling you, don't put books like this up for auction, or you're gonna end up with two bucks like that. And then there was also a best offer accepted in uh, back in September on a twelve dollar ask, and uh, they actually accepted ten bucks. So much cheaper uh, what this is actually selling for than what some of those asking prices might be. But that doesn't mean it's always gonna be that way. I'm just giving you that information so you can make a call on what you want to do if you're interested in some of these books. And. Uh, Again, sticking with Valkyrie and sticking with Secret Avengers, we're going to go to our next book, which is just kind of one of those B covers on issue six, where you can see Valkyrie established 1970. And this is, once again, a Jelena Kevick de Jurdovic cover. Pretty cool. This one has uh, asking prices ranging from about 20 bucks to 60 bucks. So a uh, higher floor, a little bit lower ceiling, because it's not a one in 15 incentive, but still. Uh, pretty solid uh, range on this one uh, of asking prices. And uh, what's actually being sold? Well, this one actually sells a bit better than the other one uh, when you take it factor in that September one sold buy now for 30 bucks. And then a best offer also in September on a $25 ask where they still accepted 20 bucks. So 20 to 30 bucks sold as opposed to the, what was it? The two bucks and 12 bucks or whatever on the last one, even though that one was the one in 15. Just something to keep in mind, again, when you're out there uh, doing your hunting and what you come across. All right, so this Spider-Girl number one, Anya Corazon, who we mentioned on the tax show last week that Marco and I did, where we covered all the variant kind of like Spider-Men uh, throughout the ages and kind of ranked them out. Uh, if you're curious, go please go check it out on the channel. Uh, there's links to it. Uh, I'll have a link to it down below, but you can go check it out and uh, 
you know, on the main page over at Renovision. But this is still a pretty cool cover. And uh, yeah, you probably guessed it. By now, you haven't noticed her art style. Yet another Jelena cover uh, here on this uh, the white background ones. Uh, again, established 2004. So uh, only six years before this uh, variant cover run. She's a relatively newer character to this list. But uh, still one that commands a little bit of a premium. As you can see, the asks on this book are 40 to $60. So 40 to 60 bucks on this. So uh, definitely not, definitely one of the more expensive ones as far as like the floor goes. And uh, yeah, not too bad. But what does it sell for? Still on a $60 ask, a best offer was accepted on this, but they accepted 52 bucks. So uh, not a cheap one. So, so far, I'd say this is probably the most, most expensive one on our list uh, so far. So keep that in mind. Pretty cool, though. I do like this one. Uh, is it a character we're going to see going forward, either in the Marvel Universe or the MCU? Hey, who knows? But we don't always have to invest just based on the movies. You can just get covers that you like because you like them. And our next book, as you can see, getting a little further along the alphabet, Thor, 614, Sif. I like Sif. I, I kind of miss her in the uh, MCU. They've kind of uh, sidelined her for a while there, but uh, I think we're getting her back uh, pretty soon. And this one is uh, not too bad of a cover. It's not my favorite rendition of Sif, but uh, it's pretty good. Chris Stevens, 1 in 15, is a book that, uh, you know, you can find out there. This is a little bit of an incentive. And if you want to see what the prices are, if you want to go shopping for one of these, well, this is only about 9 bucks or up to 50 bucks. So, again, a wide range on some of these. Again, this is 1 in 15 incentive. This is not just the B cover, so prices can vary depending on where you find it. If you want to see what it's actually selling for by actual completed sales, uh, the completed sales is 15 bucks. Buy it now on October 24th. And if you go all the way back to August, there was uh, an auction for $5.50. Again, four bids, only five bucks. So again, just keep an eye on those auctions. Auctions could be a cheap way for you to pick up these books on a bargain. Uh, but if you're a seller, I'm telling you, just put buy it now. Just saying. Moving on, I think for we have a few more of these left. Uncanny X-Men, number 527 here. Uh, White Queen, Emma Frost. I mean, everybody's going to love that, right? Everybody's going to like this cover. This is a Sarah Pacelli, actually. I didn't think this was a Sarah Pacelli when I first looked at it, but uh, then in close, upon closer inspection, you can see it. It's just uh, this one, the lines are a little bit rougher uh, than what I normally see out of her. Her lines are usually a little, a little cleaner, but... Maybe it's just the, oh, the stark white behind her, and then the white outfit is just making those uh, little imperfections kind of jump out a little bit more. I don't know. That being said, this is also a 1 in 15, because, again, it's got the border. So if it's got the border, it's the incentive. It's a 1 in 15. And the asking price is on this one. 100 bucks as the high, but 15 bucks as the low. So ratio all the way up to $100. Huge range. Huge range on that one. But if we want to kind of nail it down to realistically what is the range and we look at the actual completed sales well still 18 to 23 dollars ain't, ain't too bad so it, it's on that lower end of that range that we just looked at but still not too bad for this one of 15 incentive and uh both of these are coming from canada so the shipping costs are a little bit higher than normal so also factor that in again to these sale prices taking us to our next book x23 number one laura king Established 2004. Yeah, another Jelena cover. Pretty cool. This is one. I do not think I have this one, but I do kind of want it. But the reason why I don't have one just yet is because I haven't found one cheap enough. Uh, $35 ain't too bad, but it's still a little bit more than I would like to pay. Up to $100 uh, on this as far as the asks go. So this is, uh, Again, one on the higher end, but X-23 is a character that a lot of people like, so she is going to command a little bit of a premium, so got to keep that in mind. If I want to see what this actually sells for, uh, well, copy sold for only 18 bucks and 22 bucks. I'm more in on those prices. I could do that, so if I keep an eye out for like a $20 copy, maybe I'll scoop one up at that price, personally, because like I said, I like this one. Uh, I, I like her as a character, and I like this cover. I wouldn't mind adding this to uh, my collection if I can find a nice one for 20 bucks. So that's what I'm going to be shopping for, personally. You guys, make your own call on what you want to do with this information that I'm giving you. Taking us to our next book, X-Men Legacy. Pretty cool road cover. This is a Terry Moore. Again, 1 of 15. It's got the border, so it's the incentive. This Terry Moore cover. 
Uh, this isn't my favorite. I like the hood on Rogue, but there's just too much green personally in this outfit for me. I think, I don't know, just something about it. It's, maybe it's just this particular uh, image of it. It's just too much, too much green. She looks like a, a leprechaun. I don't know, just something, something just not sitting right with me on this one, personally. Personal choice, personal preference, right? What's actually out there for this one? Well, 50 bucks as the high, $15 is kind of that lower end range. So ratio up to 50 bucks. Again, it is what it is. X-Books, Rogue, just popular character. X-Men's a popular title. There's going to be a lot of these out there or enough of these out there. So don't overpay. But keep that in mind, too, that there's going to be more people looking than there might be for some of the other books. And if you want to see what actually sells, uh, this sells $13 to $15. So yeah, about 15 bucks. Right around that ratio seems to be a fair, a fair price. So just saying, keep that in mind. And that is the last of these covers. Like I said, these all came out over the year of 2010 and kind of led into near the end of the year. Marvel had this two issue mini series, just kind of throwing these in, just kind of a little bonus, a little added extra. This Women of Marvel series, my buddy Chris Nelms actually uh, pointed these out uh, a little while back. That uh, I think he found them in a cheap bin, dollar bins or something. So I mean, keep di go digging. I've been digging, but I haven't come gotten lucky enough to find these yet. But uh, definitely pretty cool. This Women of Marvel. Uh, this two issue mini series. It's got like little uh, anthology stories inside, little vignettes uh, inside these uh, actual the actual books. If you want to know what's actually inside and not just the cover, it's like these little shorts uh, inside for some of the characters featured, you know, on the cover. And this is cover for issue one, which I do kind of like. And then I believe Greg Land, I think, did the uh, cover to issue two. Yeah, Greg Land. You can see that's another pretty decent co cover. So. Interesting series, uh, an interesting run of covers. Hopefully you like that. As I said, there is another run in 2015 that was Women of Marvel, but that was where the artists were the Women of Marvel. And uh, while some of them drew women characters, they weren't all uh, female characters on that cover run, but it's one we'll do down the line. And then there's also the Women of Power, which is also a pretty cool run, I think. And that was done in 2016 that we'll, I'll tackle at some point. I don't want to overdo it and do too many very similar series too close together. So I'll try to space it out and do something else different and something else fun for next week. But uh, let me know what you think and let me know what you do want to see. Uh, I do appreciate you guys stopping by, checking in, checking out the content. Like I said, let me know what you would like to see next. What are some things that uh, you wouldn't mind uh, me covering? I can get back and do some DC stuff, or I can keep sticking with Marvel, which seems to be the preference of uh, most of the viewers out there, that everybody seems to prefer Marvel at least these days. But uh, I don't know. I'm open to cover whatever you guys would like. So just let me know in the comments what you think. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Keep telling your friends so we can keep growing the channel. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this daily content coming as long as I could, as long as I can. I missed this past Saturday just because I was too busy, but, you know, it is what it is. We're all having fun here, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying it and enjoying the channel, and I will see you guys soon with some more content.